Hello everybody, my name is Aiden and welcome back to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we are going to be discussing a player that has really shined for the Chicago Bulls in some games, in some ways, forms or fashion over the last previous weeks. He recently got signed to a standard NBA contract. His name is Onre Lupa Tim. We're going to be discussing what his potential future could be looking like in the NBA and hopefully for the Chicago Bulls. But before we get any further, if you like the video and you want to see more from me, drop a like, drop a follow and or subscribe if you are new. And let me know in the comments below your thoughts about the Bulls, but Tim, and whether or not you'd like to see him be a long-term corner piece for the Chicago Bulls. Maybe corner piece is not necessarily the right word for him, but would you like to see him as part of the team for a long period of time? Now, again, he was originally brought in, sent to the G League, played some G League minutes, did well in there, and he was that technically buyout option that the Bulls were supposed to get. We had one roster spot left and we needed to use it to maximize the team and we brought up the team and in hopes that he could really make a difference. And from the very beginning, I was saying, if you're going to bring up a team as your 15th man on the roster, that's all fine and good as long as he gets the chance to play. Otherwise, this is a completely and utterly wasted signing that's not going to do much for the Bulls, not going to do much for, for, for Tim either, and it's just a waste of time. Thankfully, we have come to see he's played 13 games for the Bulls thus far, and he's done very, very well. Uh, and, and he has shined in more ways than one. And I kind of want to talk about that first. What has he shined in for the Chicago Bulls? Well, of course, he's a fan favorite, which is always a key thing. At the end of the day, if Bulls fans like a player, that's usually going to help a player go the, a long way. I think he's produced a little bit of a different option off of the bench that's very nice. He has gained the trust of the coaching staff. That's another thing that he has done in the space of 13 games. That game against Milwaukee, I think it was, where he got six rebounds. He was he was doing everything for the Bulls. He was scoring for the Bulls. He was providing just a different spark offensively off of our bench. It was all lovely to see. And from that moment onwards, he has gained the trust of the coaching staff. Not every single game, but Tim has shined for the Bulls. But he still plays every single game. And I think that is a big reason. It's because whether it's depth issues or maybe it's the fact that he really just is that good to the point where he can play off the bench and become a mainstay for the Bulls, Billy Donovan is deciding to trust him, and I think that's working out for him in all honesty. Now, he's played 13 games. He does average around 5 points per game. He also averages 2.2 rebounds and 0.8 assists. He doesn't play the biggest amount of minutes for the Bulls, so keep that in mind. He only plays about 15 minutes per game. And of course, he's a role player. We're, we're not talking about a superstar level player here, or we're not talking about a player that at least has the role of a superstar player. He's there to bring some scoring, to bring some energy, and to bring some spark off of the bench. That is his goal, and that is what he is doing for the Bulls. What I like about him, he provides, again, a different spark. There's not many guys that could do... Has the offensive craft that I would say Batim has. He's got the floater game on point. He's able to shoot moving threes. He's able to shoot catch and shoot threes. His shot's a little bit slow. I'd like to see the speed of his shot improve a little bit. But other than that... He can shoot the three ball well, which is nice. He does provide a little bit more than just standing in the corner as well. And he does sometimes have those really good rebounding games that I feel like we desperately need. I don't think it's a secret that the Bulls struggle rebounding the ball. We are one of the worst teams in rebounding, at least over the last couple of weeks, even months maybe. We've just not been a good rebounding team unless you play Drummond and Vucevic together. Other than that, we suck rebounding wise. So having a guy like Batim that can maybe get two to six rebounds on any given night, it's a nice thing to have, and it does help us. He's also a forward, which helps. He does have some professional experience, even if it's not NBA experience. That all helps as well. So all that comes together, you get a player that is technically a rookie in the NBA standpoint, but is maybe proving a little bit beyond his years what he's able to provide at the NBA level. And that is something that's always going to be a key thing. And the most important thing is, you expect to see better over a course of a, a longer period of time. You know, it's, it's not easy to just come into a different league, different country, different environment, and just shine. Some players get to do that very, very well. They just click of a finger, and they're right into it. Other guys will take them longer to adapt, but they could get there. Some guys simply don't make that adjustment at all. It looks like Batim is slowly getting that confidence at the NBA level to produce in a new environment, in a new situation, and he's doing it at the NBA level at the moment. And I expect to see better and better and better over the course of his time. He's only 24 years old, I believe. So that's another um, feather 
to his cap, another benefit, another positive on his side that makes me believe he could be a longer term uh, future prospect for the NBA and for the Chicago Bulls in the future. Amidst all the changes that could happen to the Chicago Bulls, we don't know if DeRozan's going to stay. We don't know if we're going to go down the younger direction or if we're going to retool the team. We don't know the free agency acquisitions we're looking at. We don't know the draft prospects that we're looking at. There's a lot of unknowns here. We don't even know if Lonzo Ball's going to return to the Bulls next season. There's a lot that we don't know about this current version of the Chicago Bulls. So amidst all the mysteries and all the unknowns, I hope that doesn't play a factor in Batim's contracts. Now, at the end of the day, there is a possibility because he is, he is on a standard contract. Maybe other teams will be looking at him. We have to understand that this is a competitive league, ladies and gentlemen. And just because a player is a Chicago Bull now does not mean they will be a Chicago Bull three, four, five years from now, or even a year from now, even next season. If teams come after Batim because they see that potential in him, that could po cause problems for the Chicago Bulls. Now, I don't think he's actually had the stats to really show that for many so I do think there's not going to be a lot of competition for Batim out there next free agency or when he's going to get his next contract for the Bulls or whatever the case may be. I don't, I probably should have done research about this. I don't know how long his contract is actually is. I don't know if it's a two year, a one year. I'm assuming it's a one year deal. So free agency wise, I still believe the Bulls can retain the services of Onrelu Batim. And I think Batim would be happy to stay as a Chicago Bull. But again, with all the mysteries of the Chicago Bulls next season, I hope that doesn't affect Batim. And also, with more time in the Chicago Bulls culture, the Chicago Bulls fan base, the Chicago Bulls system, I guess you could say, hopefully he can start adapting more and more to those things in two to three years' time. I think his deal would be a fairly cheaper one as that uh, as well. I would assume he'd still be a bench player for the next couple of seasons. And if he does continue to improve every single year, then you might start to see more of a starter-based role. Maybe you might start to see, you know, a bigger contract for Batim, a multi-year contract for Batim and stuff of that nature. That's what I'm hoping we can see out of him because I think he's proven enough this season for me to really believe that he could do something similar next season and that he can come in right to the, right at the very beginning as a Chicago Bulls player, a player that comes off the bench and does his thing, can provide different energy. Some games will go absolutely crazy with points. Some games he'll disappoint and not score a whole lot of points. Just be that good bench player that we need, that spark plug that we could use on occasion. That's what I think we can see from Batim, and that's what I hope we do see with Batim next season and future seasons to come. And the best part about Batim is, it doesn't matter if we go younger, it doesn't matter if we keep the team the same. I think he's that type of player that could work and execute in that way, regardless of what happens with the Bulls. He's young enough to grow and participate in a rebuild if we do one. And he's also, I guess, more of a player that can still come off the bench and make a difference, even if the team is retooling or reshaping or trying to compete with the highest standing. So it's interesting, and I can't wait to see what else he does. But again, we got to just keep in mind, we're not talking about... a a max contract player here. We're not talking about a starter here. We're talking about a player that has earned his way from the bench, has gained the trust of the coaching staff, and is now a consistent Chicago Bulls player that plays minutes day in and day out. That's what we're talking about here. Those players can be replaced whether we like it or not. But let's hope we do see something in him that maybe nobody else sees, and let's hope we can get that opportunity and see what happens with it. And maybe he can be here longer term. At least that's what I'm hoping for. What do you guys think? Thank you for watching. Drop a like and a follow and or subscribe if you are new. I will see you in the next Bulls related video. Stay safe, stay healthy and stay tuned for more. Take care and peace.